enjoy life. It's um, life is too short to, to, to get bogged down to be discouraged or um, you have to keep moving. You have to keep going. Put one foot in front of the other, smile, and just keep on rolling. You know, and uh, that's that's what really is, this camp is about. Welcome to the fifth episode of this season of Jade Talk. I'm gonna just get into it. Life is too short. Life is short and time is fast. There's no rewind button. There's no pause button. It's only play and play the hand that you were dealt. What are you gonna do with it? That person you've been holding a grudge against, let that shit go. Let it go, let it fly. Forgive them. Even if they have not done you right, even if they have not done you well in the past, that doesn't mean you have to accept them back into your life. Just forgive. That person that you've been missing, call them. That person that you've been itching to hang out with, that you've been trying to reach out to, but your ego, your pride, anything else besides your schedule is conflicting you, just call them. It's not gonna hurt you, not, I promise. If you love someone, let them know. Text them, call them, shoot them an email, shoot them a DM, as long as you communicate it doesn't matter who it is doesn't matter how it happens just let them know you love them if you want something in this lifetime just go out and work for it work for it and go get it it'll be yours in due time it will be yours if you genuinely have an issue with someone contact them and talk it out drop that beef drop the conflict life is too short and you really don't know who may not make it to see the crack of dawn in the morning I don't want any of you ever 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 again to ever go to sleep with a heavy heart ever again. Get what it is off your chest, talk to God, talk to your closest friend, talk to your spouse, talk to someone. Don't ever go to sleep with a heavy heart ever again. Life is not easy. I know what it is to lose. I know what it is to hurt. I lost four close family members in one year. I almost went to juvie in one year because I was hurt, because I was losing in life. Oh, Jalen, but you don't get it. I Oh, I get it. I've been there before, trust me. I've been places that you never would have guessed by looking at me. John Piper said, life is too short, life is too precious, life is too painful to waste on worldly bubbles that are destined to burst in the long run. Chasing material things, fitting in, chasing clout, being negative because you have no self-identity, those are all bubbles that society has created that the world we live in has now created. Get over yourself. Really, really work on being your authentic self. You know your strengths. You know your God-given talents. You have a choice to make if you wanna be great. You wake up and put in the work, use those and leave a legacy before you leave or you wake up and you don't. How do you wanna be remembered? Always be curious. Always seek out the people and the things that you truly love and always work hard when those things fall into place. One thing that I would take with me every single day for the rest of my life, as I have been, is a Mamba mentality. I'm here to leave a legacy. I'm here to be remembered. I'm here to be kind. I'm here to love. I'm here to not quit. Don't quit on yourselves or don't quit on others. That's not a Mamba mentality. That's not how you get far in life. Life is too short. Don't take it for granted. Embrace it while you have it. Ask yourself, how can I love harder today? How can I give 110% today? What can I do today that's gonna make me stand out? What's going to help lead my legacy? I genuinely mean it when I say that I love every single one of you. The amount of messages that I get is very moving. I'm thankful and I genuinely love every single one of you who watch my videos and support my videos. I do this out of sheer passion. I want to lead and leave a legacy. I know that I'm helping more than I think, than people say, than people share. But I'm just thankful. I just want to keep living out my passion. Thank you, Kobe, for the mama mentality for all that you've taught me on and off the court. Mostly off the court, because <laughs> I could never dribble. 
until I got a little older. Thank you. Thank you.